Hello and welcome everyone again to another video and today's video I'm recording here on my live stream at twitch.tv slash lead and we have some Tox Clock battles from Rico de Tebayo and he is rocking Tox Clock in the Open Great League. Tox Clock is being is known for being a solid fighter in the Open Great League but it has only one problem is that is that it's just like a, a bad medi. It beats other fighters though, it destroys steel type Pokemons. Uh, the problem with it, uh, it's not as good as Medi. That's one, two. It can beat Sableye. That's a that's a different matchup. It doesn't, but it's a close matchup. The Medi matchup here, we have it. Uh, it's not the greatest matchup. You could have an opponent is swapping to Noctowl. Uh, this is not the greatest answer to Pelipper, but it can go both ways. Uh, as a Pelipper, I think you just shield and try to flip the swap. But the problem is, even if we flip swap, we don't have a way to kill Medi if we get rid of the Pelipper. So now we see the Pelipper going straight for the uh, Hurricane. This almost KOs if they know shield, but they decided to shield. So we are already in a tough situation. Because we need to land the Stone Edge until we get then. Until we get there, we will take so many uh, damage from the Sky Attack. So we have to respect those and shield ones. Uh, usually with Medi, there is oh my okay so we swapped out the swap and later this is not an ideal situation but the thing is toxie isn't bad against Medi. so if you shield the psychic and okay so we have three i don't mind this because now you throw three more and then throw whatever you have uh, i think you, should, you, you could have gotten to the sludge so this is not not an ideal situation because you would have been in, you you would have been able to get to the move, but opponent end up having pop, which is actually good for the toxie. So now we see that the opponent brought the uh, knock towel, and we see a nice reaction by swapping and throwing the move. All we need to do now is throwing this stone edge and fainting a, as soon as possible. <laughs> okay, okay, this is this. <laughs> okay, I can't hide it. Uh, the way the way the trainer is doing the. Uh, the rock animation tells me making me think that they are about to mess them but then they just get all of them at once that's actually like scary i'm like why he and he's under the charging it's like no he wasn't he was just doing them <laughs> differently okay moving into the next game that was a nice game uh, quagsire ended up being a sweeper and swept their entire team uh we have a queue time here what we move and we have a back uh not back scalable we have an Arctibax. Opponent swapped into Glodzire. And we have a Gwagzire. Gwagzire destroys Glodzire. They can land EQ. But by the time they get to a second EQ, we get three Mud Bombs. So technically, this is an ideal situation for Rico to be to be in. Uh, there is no word where they are able to flip the switch. Honestly. Well, they get to EQ because we were like slow on the swap. But now what we can do is we can mod shot all the way down, which is nice. And we have all of these nice energy. Uh, this bait is greedy, but I don't mind it to be honest because we will be able to get to a stone edge. So we banked the stone edge and then we swapped. That was a nice play. Uh, now we ended up being locked, switch locked in against Quagsart. This is not as bad as you may think because they will mud bomb us. But then we have a wall to this, which is the Pelipper. Uh, opponent is rocking a Quagsire, Clodesire with uh, with Arctibax. It's uh, it was a popular team, and and uh, the Catch Cup if you played, and I played that team a lot. So hopefully people who watch the channel knows about the team. Uh, so I like this bait because with Pelipper, if you ended up nuking and they shield, you will, you will put yourself just in a bad situation. And now we see a swap here, and we're going for oh my, this is so tilting, I swear. <laughs> the way they are doing the uh, the um, the rock animation, the the rock bubbles. Okay, moving into the next game. That was a nice play. I uh, wait. Yoshi Pochi is not legend. The stand was on the leaderboard most of the time, if I remember correctly. They swap into Quaxwell. A Quaxwell is actually better than Quaxwell. Quaxwell is so bad. I did a video on about it, and I ended up just molding all the time and calling it trash pokemon instead and people told me that i am using the wrong one because the second evolution performs better because it has some extra bulk it's a quaxwell wait what whooper looks hip with the hat quag just look disproportional i don't know what that means <laughs> okay 
So we, we have a Sableye into a Quagsire. In this situation, you prefer to be Shadow Quag, but it doesn't matter. Uh, they ended up shielding, so they went for the return straight. This is actually a very good situation to be in. I would still throw straight Mud Bombs, to be honest. But if you land the Stone Edge, that's good enough. Uh, Quag still lived the foul play, so technically you could Snow Shield farm down and leave the shield for the Toxie. And then Toxie can finish the game. But but if you shield them, farm down, that's also a good situation. Because now you're forcing them to throw. Opponent is not throwing. And we see a nice swap. A combo play by Rico. And this should be a good game. Because you leave the foul play. You leave the power punch. You leave the acid spray. Any move that the, the Scrafty could have. Toxicroc lives it. Uh, oh my. They, he, dude, they actually do that for all the bubbles. This is so tilting. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I'm not used to watch that. I'm used to watch try hard bastards who just spam the swap, the swipe to, to, to get all the bubbles three times uh, at once. <laughs> okay. Toxie into Gwag. This is actually not an ideal situation because they have Mud Shot, which is super effective, and they outpace. Uh, this is not an ideal answer to the Pelipper because Pelipper is known for being too good of a Pokemon. And you can win all the neutral matchups. So here, you want to do 1 or 4 or 7, then throw. So we see 1, 2. That was bad timing. But they might know shield. And then that will end up being good timing. So yes, you want to throw on 1 or 4 or 7. And you just keep baiting, to be honest. Uh, this is not a bad matchup. Toxie actually is not bad against the Charmots. I think you win the 0 against all the Charmots because you have Sludge. And you take neutral from Charm. Uh, opponent is expected to bring the Quag again. Oh, wait, they have Gligar. This is a tough situation because we don't have any answer to the Quag. Our, oh, sorry, to the to the Gligar. Our only Gligar answer was Pelipper, and it's gone. So technically, we don't have... We don't have an answer to uh, Gligar anymore. Uh, so two, mo two moves here do not KO. Get the bubbles, please. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Swiping. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, this game is GG. I think into Quag lead, you don't go to the hard counter. You go to the soft answer. And your soft answer here is Quag itself. You go Quag and you insta throw the Mud Bomb to align the uh, fast moves together. So you can rely on winning CMP if you can win CMP. But yeah, you don't go to the hard counter. Uh, this is a tough matchup, but you win the zero. Also, they don't let you win the zero because they will just spam moves. Uh, I don't know about calling a bait here because it does lots of damage. And we see him on the next one, which means we might be able to... L do we even live to... I don't think we live to part of the snows. That's why I don't agree with the calling the bait. If you want to call a bait, you can just two shield and then catch the third or catch the second on Pelipper maybe after you've done some fast move damage. Uh, here, are we going for the full fast move down? And now they have an Umbreon. So if you swapped, you would have had a um, uh, Toxicroak to beat. Uh, okay, we throw after two fast moves. Ideally, again, in Pelipper, uh, which is two-turn fast move against the Umbreon, which is a three-turn fast move. You want to throw on one, four, seven, ten. So one, then add one plus three. One, four, seven, ten. Uh... Because if we throw on better timing, we could have had the Wither Ball ready by, by there. Now, this game is not GG yet, but the Umbreon will like just do lots of damage here. And hope ah, This is not a Mud Bomb range, right? And this is alignment timing. Not ideal again. 1.7. But we can throw them back to back, which is good. And since opponent shielding, I'm expecting a Cloud Zire. No, it's a Quag Zire. And it's Shadow Quag. We live one. And it's Aquatail. Okay, this is actually a better situation now because Aquatail does less than Mud Bomb. Mud Bomb is technically Aquatail is a Dragon Claw clone, and a Mud Bomb is a Surf clone, I believe, because it got a buff. Shut up, Leafy. And now it's a race to whoever get to the move, and they get it before because they have Aquatail, which is thirty-five energy move, while Mud Bomb is forty energy. That was a close game. And you, they, they Rico managed to bring it as close as possible. So, uh, moving into the next one, we're getting Phalanx here. And we're climbing to Expert. Congrats to Rico on hitting Expert. Yo, now we get the outfit. And now... Oh, this is actually all seasons high. Because he hit Ace. 
last time, I guess. And now we hit Expert, so congrats Trico on hitting Expert with Toxic Rock. And Quag and Talipan, yo, that, that was good to watch. And thank you so much for sending me these battles. If you want to submit you the battles, there is a link down below. Submitting battle submission or something. It's a Google form format, so just click on the link and follow the steps. And Rico is showing off that he hit it with lower amount of battles. And we have 500 almost more ELO. So congrats to Rico hitting a new, a new all season high. And good luck to everyone uh, pushing for Legend. Hopefully you made it. And yeah, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Like the video, make sure to like, leave a like on your channel, make sure to subscribe, and see you in the next one. Peace.